Now for many people, breakfast is just not breakfast without some kind of bread or toast. The trouble is, one slice is just never enough. Well, this is my breakfast loaf made with sunflower seed. It's designed to be high in protein, low in carbs and calories, so that it'll keep you filled up at breakfast and you won't be going after sugar later in the morning. For this recipe, you need 800 grams of cottage cheese, which is about one and a half packs of this. So what you want to do is take all the lumps out and get really smooth, kind of creamy consistency. <laughs> Okay, as you can see here, it's now almost like a cream cheese, but obviously much lower in fat than you would get with cream cheese. So, put this into your big mixing bowl. I mean, I've got, I use cottage cheese quite a lot in the S Factor diet because it is a really useful food for adding protein without lots of fat. Next thing is you want to beat some eggs. I've got four egg whites. The great thing about eggs, particularly egg whites, High protein again, low in fat again, so really good diet food. And also packed full of vitamin D, and we know that vitamin D, apart from helping our immune systems, also really important for uh, staving off depression, particularly in winter. The whole point about the uh, recipes in the S-Factor diet is that they also make you feel good, they make you happy, as well as helping you lose weight. Because no point being thin and depressed, is there? I think we're pretty much there, actually. Now empty the egg whites into the cottage cheese. Now, I'm not promising you that this, this loaf is going to be as light as a feather. Most gluten-free breads, and this is gluten-free, are heavier, but that's not unpleasant. So to 240 grams of flour, I'm going to add four teaspoons of baking powder. Now that seem, might seem quite a lot, but because this is a gluten-free bread, um, you haven't got anything to make it rise, so you have to add raising agents. So that's why we've got so much baking powder in here. The good thing about making gluten-free bread, of course, there's no proving, so I don't have to kind of hang around and wait. Once I've mixed this all together, it can go straight in the oven and you get your bread quite quickly. So add a tiny bit of salt, and then I'm adding two spices today. I'm going to add some cinnamon, and then we'll add nutmeg. So we begin to stir this all together. Okay, so now we're going to add the sunflower seeds. Got 100 grams of those, and then we're just going to add a few tablespoons of water. And let's just mix this all together. Now, one of the reasons to add seeds is that number one, it's got, they've got lots of fibre in, so they help you feel more filled up. And number two, they're packed full of nutrients. Sunflower seeds are packed full of um, omega-3 fatty acids, which we know are really good for our whole bodies, particularly our brains. So, next, all we've got to do now is put this into the tin. Now, look, it's quite sticky. So you have to do a bit of pressing down. It will rise a little bit because of the baking powder, but don't expect it to double in size, which is why um, we're making this tin quite full. Now there's one final thing I'm going to do, which is a kind of presentation thing really. Is I'm going to take a few more sunflower seeds. I'm just going to sprinkle them on the top because it gives you a nice bit of crunch and also it looks really pretty. So we're going to put this in the oven, 160 degree oven, so not terribly hot, um, and you need to, to allow at least 45 minutes. So this bread is probably ready to come out now. As you can see, it's nice and golden on the top. It should also feel definitely like it's cooked, so time to let it cool. So now it's cooled, we can actually slice it. I'm going to cut a couple of slices here so you can see what it's like on the inside. So there we go. That's my sunflower seed breakfast loaf. If you've enjoyed this recipe, there are details about this one as well as 70 other recipes in the book. Why not buy it here?